morning guys starting my day off with a bang i don't think i'll ever get tired of that pun ever this is peach mango one of my favorite flavors uh so i'm just gonna have this and wake myself up okay guys i just finished watching matt and mega on live and now i'm gonna have my first quote unquote meal of the day it's technically more of a snack but i'm having an atkins bar so sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna try to get away from Atkins bars. And then other times I'm like, they fit in my macros and they're delicious. And like, they don't have any amount of tall or IMO. So like, why am I trying so hard to get away from them? Like, I know that it's all about, you know, high quality ingredients and bettering yourself, blah, blah, blah. But it's also about sustainability. And like, I love these things and they're so convenient and they're so easy. I mean, maybe I'll try to make my own fat bombs, but then sometimes I'm just like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So as you can see, I'm super conflicted, but I'm going to eat this anyways and I'm going to feel great about it. Also, I have filled up this Powerade Zero bottle with water. So I'm going to try to drink this whole thing before I crack into an actual Powerade Zero. So there's that. I'll be back in a few hours for lunch. Okay guys, it is lunch time and I'm very excited. You know what that means. Look at this. Look at this chorizo egg bake that I made. Oh my gosh. Words cannot describe how excited I am. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is a dream come true. I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave and then we'll be back to taste it. Okay, here's the finished product. Oh, looks like fruitcake. Look at that chunkage. Okay, so I've topped it with a smidgen of this Taco Bell fire sauce because it can literally never be hot enough. And then also just an ounce of the shredded uh, cheddar and Colby Jack cheese that I shredded up yesterday. So let's give this a taste. Oh my goodness. It's just unbelievable. I might hit it with a smidgen of salt because I didn't really salt the eggs when I poured them in there but everything is so good. Oh, the chorizo though, that chorizo. Unfortunately, I've only made it this far on my water, so I am still gonna be drinking that for lunch and then I'll be back when it's time to have something else. Mm -mm -mm. Words cannot describe how much joy that brought me. It was so good, it's so filling. Like that's a lot of food. Three eggs, two ounces of chorizo, a nice amount of vegetables in there. Like that was very satisfying. And I have a feeling this will be as well. Oh! Okay, if you've never had Stoka bars before, they're amazing. You should at least try them out. These are like $3 a bar, so they're definitely expensive and definitely a treat, but like, I feel really good about eating these. If I'm gonna have an Atkins bar, you know, and feel wishy-washy about it, I can have a Stoka bar and feel 100% great about it, so. This is the cocoa almond bar. They also have a vanilla almond bar. I have that one too. I bought the sample pack, but let me go ahead and just open this. Show it to you. It is like a granola dream come true. I'll take a little bite. Mmm. So crunchy. Basically just almonds, and I'm okay with that. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna have some gum. I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, so yesterday I made some Brussels sprouts and bacon grease, and I had plans to eat the bacon with my egg loaf this morning, but I was like, wait a minute, why don't I just sprinkle the bacon on top of the Brussels sprouts since it already has the flavor of the grease anyway. So I have bacon that I am going to break up and put on top of my Brussels sprouts. Mm, and there we have it delicious bacony Brussels sprouts. You guys, my dog Milton went to the vet today and he has a cone on his head and it's the saddest thing ever. Look at my poor dog. Milton, Milton Bubby, Milton. See, he just doesn't even know which end is up. Oh, Angel, it's a tragedy. 
What's not a tragedy are these two hot dogs that I just made. <laughs> Sometimes I like to eat the hot dogs like in hot dog form and then other times I just want to cut them up into tiny little pieces and eat them with a fork. So that's what I'm going to do. Got some mustard. So I'm going to put some mustard on there, eat my hot dogs. And then also I finished my water. So I started on a Powerade and we can see, I guess I was super thirsty for one. because so I'm definitely going to finish this with my meal. And then I'm going to come back and have Jello and Zevia. I know Milton. I know boy. All right, guys, you know the deal. It is Jello time and it is Zevia time. Uh, this week I'm trying a flavor I've never had before. Citrus, was it grapefruit citrus? I had one yesterday. Tastes exactly like the lemon lime. Like I cannot tell a difference at all. But it's good, but it's just not any different. Uh, I've got my Jellos, and then I will probably have a piece of gum after this. And that's me eating for the day. So I was actually looking for strawberry, but they just don't have it. I went to Meyer, I went to Kroger, I went to Whole Foods. They do not have strawberry where I live. If you live in Louisville, where y'all getting the strawberry from? You know, let me know. Comment below, tell me, do they have strawberry where you live and what store is it in? And maybe I'll just try to find one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll talk to you next week. And now I have to go help my dog. Like, he just literally doesn't know which end is up. <laughs>